Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can fetch data from API and display as a list on React Native UI. So we can start with the points. Firstly, we will create a function so that we can call our API inside it and we can store the data in a state. After that, on that state, we will apply map function to render the data as a list. And uh, then we have to add some style and scroll view also. Why scroll view? Because when we have large amount of data, we have very, very big list, that time we have to scroll the UI, right? So that time we have to use scroll view, only view will not enough in that case. And at last we will cover some important interview questions also. And guys, if you are not aware about API, like what is API, why we use that and all, then you can watch our recent video. Link is given in the descri uh, description for that video because there we will learn some basic thing about API and basic call also, right? and uh, this is the api url that we will use in this video here you can see that this is a json format right and uh, the also link of this api is, is given in the description box this is a free of cost api you can use it this is open source all right so now let's uh, open the uh, emulator and uh, our screen so that we can uh, just write our code so let me just create a function first so let's say my function name is get api data or anything you can put the function name and after that let's take a constant url and put this url as a string after that whenever we want to get data from api then that time we have to use the fetch method and in apis there is a many methods to just uh, uh, interact with the data so let's say you want to just fetch the data that time we can use get method if you want to store the data then you can use post method for delete we have to use delete method for update we have to use put or patch method so here we are just fetching the data as a list so that we will use their get method all right and uh, so now let's take one more literal there and you can put any name to it let's see result and then we can use fetch method this is basically a api again fetch is also api in javascript but if you are a beginner then you can say that this is just a function because i don't want to just go much deeper inside the fetch api and all right because there's a different kind of api there is a one thing is that uh, we can call this is the api and second thing is uh, this is the uh, fetch again we can call it api so these are the javascript concept i don't want to just go deeper over there so you can see that just fetch is a function and there we have to pass the url and again which method we want to use there like say post get uh, put delete then we can just uh, mention there in a method right as a different parameter but if you are just using a get method then you don't need to mention it because by default in the fetch method API type is basically get so you don't need to pass anything uh, that code is fair enough after that uh, let's say we get the result but that will be not in the JSON format we have to just store in the JSON format so what we can do there JSON uh, result dot JSON as a function and now that will be in a JSON format and there is a one more thing whenever we are just fetching data it will return promise whenever we are just converting data in the json format again it will return the promise to handle this we have to make a function async there and simply use await keyword where wherever we have to uh, just uh, resolve the promise all right and now let's take one more state Achha. now you can say that how we can call this function then we will just call so just simply uh, for a moment i am just making a console dot one so that we can check this function is called right and what I'm going to do there, uh, I'm just using the use effect method, right? Uh, I, gu I guess you are aware about that, like what is use effect, why we use it, because in this series, we already created lots of video about use effect. So just simply put there, get API data, right? And it will call automatically call once we will store, uh, just save the data or we will just initiate the, uh, uh, the screen first time. And here you can just see that function is called perfect so now we don't need this and to store this result we can simply just create a constant const data uh, 
set data choose state and by default data will be empty l right because this is the in the result we have a complete list and list is always in the form of uh, array so we can say that empty array as a default value perfect and now whenever we want to store just put their set data and just put result inside it perfect after that inside the just uh, result but you can do that you can just convert this inside the view why i am not creating converting it directly in the scroll view because i just want to show you what issues it will cause and why we have to use a use scroll view there right so for a moment i am just putting the same thing and now just simply check if data dot length right is is present is if this is not zero then we can say that we will use data dot dot map function there like this right otherwise if this is uh, uh, not present then we can say that just surrender the null there even we don't need to just put these uh, brackets also that will be fine right and this map function will always just return a callback function right so we can just again take a view there like this just close it view and uh, there let's uh, take a parameter let's say item and we can just use this uh, text there to see the time i'm just copying and pasting it just simply use there item dot whatever parameters we have like say user id id title and everything you can use so i'm just putting their id there right and now let's see are we getting some result there so we got all the ids there and now let's say you want to add the title and body also there so let me add two more fields and we can just uh, remove the font size also not remove we can just uh, decrease the font size so just simply put their title and body also and let me show you again these are the title body and keys you can use any one or all of or all of uh, these keys so that's okay but there is a still two thing first thing is that this is not uh, look like a decent ui second thing we are not able to scroll it so if you just want to apply the scroll thing there then simply just import there scroll view and after that let's put their scroll view there as well as there in the complete screen after that you will able to scroll it so let's just check there are we able to scroll here you can see that we are able to scroll but uh, still we can add some style there so for that what we can do there so let me just add style uh, border bottom color let's say this is triple d hash triple d that will be a light gray color and border bottom width it could be one or two whatever you want to put after that let's put there some margin also right margin could be let's say 10 pixel store it and let's see now you can see that there are the blocks so let's say you want to just apply some style over the text also so let's say background color could be triple mm, a or triple nine whatever you want to say and uh, it should be bit uh, you can say that in a gray color right so with that way we can just use the color and all whatever you want to add and you are able to see that this is a perfect list so in next part we will learn that how we can display this list uh, with the flat list right so that's all for this part and i'll request you to please don't forget to subscribe my channel this is my paytm number for donation and if you have any feedback or comment uh, anything you want to say you can ask in the comment section thank you guys thank you so much